What is the left now in in early 2020? I think in many ways um, you could compare it to the a Jim Crow uh, period in the southern US in the mid 20th century, where there was a codified segregation and, of course, just widespread racism, um, where, where you have the scenes of um, you know, the police escorting black children into, into white schools. Um, you know, amazing, amazing that that ended. Um, it's great that schools could be mixed and that segregation could end. And I think we're living in a similar time now. Um, a time of um, where, where there's a background radiation of, of racism, as there was in in the Deep South, and, and may still be, probably to a far lesser extent. But of course, today, um, the background radiation of of racism is against white people, and the background in in the West, and the background radiation um, of sexism, uh, as it. As racism was against blacks in the Deep South, the background radiation of sexism in the Western world today is against men. Um, we have men, not Jim Crow, but Man Crow, we could call it, or White Crow. Um, yes, it's not actually codified in the same way. You don't have to have whites uh, sitting at the back of the bus. Um, but it is codified, and in, in just a serious way, and possibly a worse way. You have um, white, mostly actually Asian students at Ivy League universities being systemically discriminated against on an industrial scale in favour of black students who didn't get the grades to go there, who aren't intelligent enough to go there. You have um, systematic propagandization, brainwashing, 1984 style brainwashing um, in every major company now with uh, unconscious bias training. If you even question it, you get fired or you don't get the job. I, I know many people this has happened to. James Damore is, is a classic case of this where he used science, facts, logic and reason to cite um, peer-reviewed data on gender differences um, to, in order to give some feedback to the Nazi propagandists at Google who were force-feeding people bullshit um, made up by intersectionalists. They were forcing them to do unconscious bias training, which is really just fuck white men training. It's it's similar to what the Nazis did against the Jews. This is what unconscious bias training is doing now against the white man. Uh, this is happening at pretty much every major company now. It's just propagandization. It's just bigotry. It's just racism. It's just sexism. Uh, James Damore gave them the feedback they were asking for, and he got fired. Um, can you imagine firing a black woman for questioning a policy that she thought was racist against black women. I can't. This is because we live in a West now, which is deeply bigoted, where there is a background radiation of sexism against men and racism against whites, and to some extent Asians in some situations. Although Asians do still get to call themselves people of colour, so, you know. We're so used to the extreme bigotry of society against whites and men now, um, that we don't even notice it. It's just a constant background radiation. Somebody in, in the bigotry department, also known as HR, also known as the woke department uh, in your company, they may make an offhand comment such as, well, we need more women of colour on, on, on our board. Okay, why do you need more women of colour on your board? If you just ask that question, you'll probably get fucking fired. But it's a very, it's a valid question. Um, what you're saying by we need more, more women of colour on our board, what you're saying is you need fewer old white men on your board. That's just fucking racism. That's just fucking sexism. That's not an appropriate uh, thing to say. Pe but these people, of course, they just, these brainwashed bigots, they just go unchallenged because everyone's too scared to say anything. This is the the... the, the constant background radiation that we're desensitized to. Um, some officers play white noise in the background. Um, after a while, you just don't notice it. And it's the same with this constant racism. Um, just just um, saying, you know, oh, we need more um, people of color in this industry. Why? Well, you can't just say, we need more people of color in this industry. You need, firstly, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out, you, you dumb leftist fucks. <laughs> This is, how, this is how you get to the statement, we need more people of colour in this industry. Firstly, um, 
who has applied for the who is applying for these jobs and what are their qualifications if people of color and i assume you're excluding let, let, let's take coding i assume you're excluding asians from this because they're overrepresented so you're talking about say blacks and latinos in the u.s are underrepresented in say coding jobs at google you can't just say we need more people of color maybe people of but maybe Latinos and blacks are not interested in that job for some reason. Maybe they don't have the education level necessary for that job. So you can't just parachute people in. You can't just use racism to choose who works for you. That's just fucking... A, it's not good for business. You should choose the best people. Uh, B, it's not fair on the people you're choosing. And C, you have to look at the reasons why there are fewer people applying for these jobs, or fewer people qualified for these jobs. Every, all of these roads go back to helping kids when they're very young. Because once once people grow up and they don't have the education or the experiences necessary to do this job, it's too late. It's not going to work if you parachute them in. It's going to damage your business. And it's unjust. So it's not okay. It's not fine to say anything about needing more diversity anywhere unless you've made a case for it. This case is never made. Off, off-handed comments like, oh, you have white privilege. You need to sit down and check your privilege. White privilege is just a racist term. It's just a way of shutting white people down. It's, not, it's an invalid term. It's bullshit. It's a weapon. It's got nothing to do with truth. It's got nothing to do with reality. It's a weapon for, for taking power from one group and giving it to another. It, it's just racism. White privilege, the whole concept of white privilege, is just bigotry. It's just racism. But it's part of the um, fuck whites background radiation in the West now. We need hazmat suits. We need radiation shields. We need to protect ourselves from this bullshit background radiation. Because it's a house of cards. As soon as, you, as soon as you dare question any of these things, their next step will be to scream at you. They've already lost if they do that, and any sensible person can see that. And if you just keep talking through them calmly, uh, their just power grab, their desire for, for money, their desire for, for power, it just becomes exposed. They've got, they, you know, the emperor has no clothes. The left has no clothes. You just need to fucking say it. So this constant um, background radiation of bigotry coming from the left it's not as bad as you think. J just start pushing back. The Deviant Developer Podcast. Tap subscribe in any podcast app to never miss an episode. Please leave a review on iTunes and like on YouTube. It's essential to spread the word. To contact me or make a welcome donation, go to thedeviantdeveloper.com. Your support is greatly appreciated.